Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom cursor to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So what you see over here on the screen is this pointer. Now you can add any image you want over here in place of this pointer. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So let's get started. First of all, let me clarify that uh, it is not recommended to change the default cursor. But if your website is something different and you want to have some fun element in that and you want to change the cursor to something really interesting using any image that you want, then you can watch this video and uh, know how to do that. So here I have logged into the dashboard of my blogger website. Now you just need to add one line of CSS code. But before that, let's go ahead and download a cursor image. So we'll go to this uh, website. This is a website called pixabay.com. It has free images for your websites. So I'll just search for cursor and you can find a lot of different images for cursor. So I'll just go ahead and uh, download this image right here and we will use this image as the cursor. So just go ahead and click on download. I'll just select the smallest version. So this is the image that we just downloaded and the size is uh, 590 into 640 pixels. So it is really huge. Now we have to resize this and uh, set it to the size that we want. So you can use any image editing software you want to do this. I am using this software called Figma. It is used to design user interfaces. So I'll just drag in the image to this uh, software. So this is the image right here. Now we just need to resize the image. So typically the cursor size is recommended to be 32 pixels. So I'll just set the width to 32 pixels and I'll also leave this uh, constraint proportions button checked. Now we can see that this is the size of our cursor. Now let's go ahead and export this. You have to make sure that uh, this is a PNG image and uh, you also have to make sure that uh, the background is transparent. So if I add something over here. We can see that the background of this cursor is transparent. So you have to make sure that it is transparent because otherwise it won't look good. So just select this and uh, we'll click on export and uh, just preview it. And we can preview it over here and then click on export. So I'll just save it over here and uh, we'll just name it custom cursor and then click on save. All right, now we have to upload that to our blogger website and then we can use uh, the image. Now you can upload the image anywhere you want and uh, then just get the link of the image and paste it over here in the blogger website. Or you can just go to pages or post and uh, just create a new page and uh, just click on insert image and click on upload from computer and just select the image. So we just select the custom cursor image and click on open. And then just select that and click on select and we'll set the size to original and click on OK. Now here you can see that we get the link of the image. So if you are in the compose view, which is this view right here, you have to go to the HTML view and you'll get the anchor tag over here, which has the link of the image. So just copy this from here and then go back to the dashboard. Now we'll go to theme. And then go over here to edit HTML and uh, we have to add the CSS right here. But first of all, let me show you how the blog looks right now. So this is how the blog looks and uh, this is our default cursor. Now here we'll go to the CSS and uh, so this is where the CSS starts. So before the body, I'll just add one line of CSS. So I'll just type asterisk to select everything. And uh, here we will type cursor and we'll type URL and in parenthesis and in single quotes, I'll just paste the link of the image. And then we'll also need to add uh, auto over here because if the image doesn't load, then we have some backup. Right. So once you're done with this, just click on save. And now let's refresh our website and see how it looks. 
and now we can see that we have our custom cursor set up for our website so it works all right we can even click on any of these and uh, it works just like intended so this is basically how you create a custom cursor for your blogger website now you can even add this cursor for a specific division if you want so you can just go over here and target the class or the ID of the division and this cursor will be available only for that division so you can do a lot of creative stuff with this and again make sure that you don't overuse it and uh, just use it if you really need to add some fun element to your website All right now let me show you how to add this to your WordPress website so here I have logged into my WordPress dashboard now first of all you need to add the image so for that just go to media and click on add new and then just drop the file over here or just click on select files and uh, select the file and click on open now click on edit and on the right here we can see the URL of the image so just select that and uh, copy it and then uh, go back to the dashboard and uh, you have to have a plugin called custom CSS and JS so you can just go to plugins and click on add new and search for this plugin and install and activate that after that you can go to add custom CSS and I'll just uh, close this right here and here you can add the CSS so right now this is how the website looks so we have this uh, default cursor over here and uh, let's add the CSS so I'll just type asterisk or whatever division you want you can add the class or the ID over here and here we'll type cursor URL and here I will just paste the link of the image and then here we'll type comma auto right now here we have some options and everything should be set as default and then click on publish now let's go back to our website and let's refresh and now we can see we have this custom cursor for our WordPress website so it works all right just like the blogger website so this is basically how you add a custom cursor to your WordPress or your blogger websites so that's it for this video I hope that you found this useful and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day